guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making some red velvet cupcakes because apparently this has now turned into a baking channel which is great and of course we're doing some boxed baking again because I don't like making things from scratch. So anyway, what would a video on my channel be without a solid 10 or 15 seconds of me washing my hands? Well, this time I decided to speed it up because last time, 30 seconds of me washing my hands was awfully painful to watch. So yeah, no, you guys only get like 10 seconds, which is still too much. I don't know why I included this, but anyway. So the first step was to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And then I put the dry cake mix into the bowl that I was gonna use. And what was really great about this kit was you only needed three ingredients to add to the dry ingredients and it still came out like really moist which was great because sometimes when you don't add more than one or two ingredients to a cake mix it ends up coming out like super super dry i know one time i forgot to add milk and my whole family never let me live it down because the milk was literally there i just forgot to add it Anyway, here's me um, just cracking some eggs and I didn't get any shells in there, pat on the back for me. And yeah, here's me just plopping those into the mixture and here's just a sped up thing of me mixing. I tried my best to get all the lumps out <clears throat> in this one, but I think I should have used an electric mixer, but I think what I ended up doing was sufficient enough, I guess. I mean, she still ended up being thick and she still ended up being great. Um, I can't understand why I keep gendering all the food that I make. But anyway, now we're gonna pour it into the cake tins before I put in these little papers. Fun fact about these papers, I didn't need them. Apparently we had non-stick spray all along and I just couldn't find it because I can't see further than my button nose. So yay me. Now we're pouring it in and I sincerely apologize, but you're going to see some mess in this because I accidentally dropped some of the batter on the tin and it's oh so cringy. I hate it. Um, I'm just cringing thinking about it right now. I should have done this with a smaller container. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no, no, no. That was horrible. Anyway, I never cleaned that up, just in case you were wanting to know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it made me cringe. So, enough cringing. I put it in the oven and I left it for 25 to 30 minutes. I think it was more like 25, but anyway. And here's me licking the bowl to get me some salmonella because yeah, there were raw eggs in there. I should not have been licking the bowl. And today, we see our patient Julia on this episode of My 600 Pound. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Here's me cleaning the dishes because I don't know. I generally don't ever, ever, ever clean dishes, but I thought for this video, I might as well seem like a good person. So I ended up doing the dishes. Um, nothing really special. And what would a baking video be without an orange juice break? And every single time I have this orange juice, I say to myself, no, Julia, don't drink so much because it's sour. But do I keep on drinking it? Yeah. And a lot of you requested to see my dog again. So here she is. She says hi. She's great. Um, here's me just patting her. And so the cupcakes started to rise and that was great. So I decided to take them out the oven, put on some gloves. I think they're called baking gloves. I don't know. Do, is there a proper name for those? <sighs> I have absolutely no idea. But oh my goodness, did those cupcakes look amazing can we just take a second and look at them oh even though they were in those little like papers i still decided to make sure that they were all loose in the pan because the worst thing is it drying and then you have to take the cupcakes out and it kind of crumbles because it was stuck to the pan the whole time and so yeah i just made sure that they were loose and that i would be able to take them out when they were cool even though i didn't wait for them to cool to start icing them and the icing kind of melted yeah, that wasn't really good. I'm starting to believe that I'm more of an amateur baker than I actually make myself out to be. So here, the three cupcakes are gonna magically appear with the power of Premiere Pro editing, not sponsored. And this kit came with a pre-packed cream cheese icing. And can I just tell you, this icing is the best pre-packaged icing that I've ever had in my entire life. It didn't take taste fake and it was just, the perfect amount of creamy and the perfect amount of amazing. 
yeah so here's a 15 second mukbang of me eating the cupcakes 10 out of 10 would highly recommend this kit if i can find this kit online i'll link it down below and yeah i guess thank you guys so much for watching thank you for everyone who has subscribed since the last videos it really means the world to me and yeah please give this video a thumbs up and bye